For me, it's not about tradition at all. It's about rules and regulations. I like history. I like certain traditions. I like certain rituals. But as soon as they're encased in rules and regulations, they become inclusive. I mean, you look at like Jesus saying, okay, all you have to do basically is love one another and everything will build on that. But then you have everyone coming after him that says, okay, you have to love one another and here's these 40 other rules and then these rules and these rules and you, and, you know, you have to then be this aspect, you know, you can't be Protestant and, and, or you can't be Catholic or you can't be just non-denomination. As long as you pray and love, you have to be in this religion. You have to wear these clothes. You have to do. It's all the rules and regulations that comes with anything, with going to school, with, with everything we do, um, even movements, great movements, important movements that make change. They get like eventually like clubs, and then all they care about is their special interest. And I think it's the rules. <laughs> these rules and regulations that um, constantly we're f fighting and uh, trying to shed. And if that makes us seem, you know, less moral, am I less moral because I, I refuse to have an organized religion? I don't feel that at all because I feel completely unfettered. My relationship with God is unfettered by a bunch of rules and regulations about how to get to him. And I think that, uh, you know, it's, the real key is just to be a good person. If you're just a good person, you know, I don't care what side of the, you know, what, you know, everybody can keep their values, keep their traditions. But, you know, as Lenny said, live in harmony, mm -hmm. you know. Well. You mentioned. I don't think that all art should talk to everybody. Robert Maplethorpe didn't feel like his X-rated photographs or his, his uh, sadomasochistic photographs were for everyone. They weren't for his mother. They weren't for um, you know, young people or children. They were for specific people. A lot of people, they look at a Jackson Pollock, it makes them ill, but they will love a Vermeer. You know, I don't think that everything has to be for everybody. Some people might never like Allen Ginsberg's poems. That's okay. They'll like maybe Wordsworth. You know, we have a whole um, spectrum and a whole, you know, all of the possibilities to to um, um, enter the creative sphere and and to find, you know, where we relate to this, you know, expanse of consciousness. And it it could be through, you know, Whistler, or mm -hmm. it could be, you know, through Wagner. It's just, you know, I, I think that, you know, it's, it doesn't have to just be through something new or something, you know, I don't like all new art. In fact, I, I can't stand most contemporary art. You could take all of Jeff Koons and throw them into, I don't even know, you could like bury them into the, the you know, some crater or something. Mm -hmm. Put them in the Hawaiian crater. It's called, it's uh, called, the, schlock it's called the schlock of the new. <laughs> mm -hmm. as but to I, the I'm just saying that, mm -hmm. It's, it's just for those, like Jesus said, those who will hear will hear and those who will see will see. I would have been very happy, though we were never in the mainstream, even when we had one successful song. Uh, it was on such a controversial album uh, that, you know, we managed uh, always to uh, stay like, like in the illuminated underground. But I would have loved if we could have written a song on horses that I used to call it my, my dream of writing the hit of the world. Writing a song that everybody heard and was like, felt uplifted by it. Everybody. It was like, you know, the perfect four top song, you know, reach out for me or something. <laughs> to write one like that, but I, I don't have that gift. You know, it's a gift that the, you know, Smokey Robinson had or various people have. But I don't have that particular gift. And uh, um, I don't say that um, like being humble is just a truth. I mean, mm -hmm. if, if I had it, I would have written the hit of the world. I don't think it's important to stay in the underground to be an artist. I, I would love to see the greatest artist that ever lived suddenly beloved by the whole world, you know. But um, so, you know, you just, we just keep doing our work, you know. It's like, uh, we never cared whether we were, even though I had that secret dream, 
we didn't do our work to you know make money or to uh, to be pop stars or dress in a certain way. We got in trouble at least once a week. <laughs> Everything that we were asked to do, we usually did the opposite. Not to be contrary, just because that's the way we were going. We were like, uh, no, I'm not going to brush my hair for the cover of horses. I'm not going to like. Uh, um, no, I'm not going to wear a dress on the cover of this album. No, I'm not going to. Um, you know, take the word pissing out of pissing in the river. It was always on, no, I'm not going to call it, you know, rock and roll potato instead of rock and roll nigger. I'm going to, you know, no, I'm not going to shave my armpits. I mean, it was like stupidest fights. Every single, everything we did was a fight, right? Yeah, yeah. But we were like, we were happy to fight. I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, to be a, as a, as a young person, I knew if you're going to be a poet or an artist or anything like this, a, a troubadour, you were going to suffer. You were probably going to be poor. You were going to maybe have TB. I mean, anything was going to happen. <laughs> but you were going to you know, be blessed with the, the opportunity to create in this manner and unfettered by you know, the world's expectations and demands. You were just going to do your work. And, uh, and that's what we did. And I would have to say that that is a legacy that we got from the counterculture of the 1960s, this sense of idealism, the sense of possibility that you could choose your own path. And if it was rocky, well, that's, you know, that's Roly. <laughs> I mean. 